It's the reason for the season, the NFL season that is, and it is the Vince Lombardi Trophy, which arrived in Miami today to kick off the week leading up to Super Bowl 54. FedEx delivering the iconic trophy, which was carried from the truck into the Miami Beach Convention Center for the Super Bowl experience by former Baltimore Raven Anquan Bolden, whose team won Super Bowl 47. A week from tomorrow, the NFC champion NF uh, San Francisco 49ers will face off with the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs for rights to that trophy in Super Bowl 54. And you can catch it all on your local Fox station. Kick off one week from tomorrow, February 2nd, 6.30 Eastern Time. Well, as Miami prepares to host tens of thousands of visitors for the Super Bowl, some of them, sadly, will be criminals. So federal authorities are training airport workers to spot human traffickers and their victims. Alina Shirazi has that story. Miami is in the final preparations for this year's Super Bowl, but miles away from where the game will take off, Miami International Airport workers are keeping an eye out for human trafficking. Airport employees are working with the Department of Homeland Security on how to spot potential human trafficking victims. Florida is a state with the third highest rate uh, of per capita calls regarding human trafficking. So we thought it was important to partner with the, uh, with the entities to teach our employees on the indicators of human trafficking. In my area, we're looking for anything, uh, uh, whether it's a, it's a cell phone to a package for anything that's out of place, for me, it's a red flag. Over 600 airport employees are on board with the training, looking to identify certain behaviors, such as a lack of eye contact, a story that doesn't add up, or a fear of security workers. Anybody that comes in to look out of place, we identify those individuals, we're trying to make contact with them and be able to make sure that those individuals are okay to be here. Customs and Border Protection agents say for national security events like the Super Bowl, it's also game day for them. Anytime you have uh, an event that, that attracts, I would say, like high income uh, participants, it might be prone to situations such as illicit crime, criminal activity. The hope is to stop trafficking on the front lines of entry. If you see somebody that their freedom is being kept from them, they're not allowed to move freely, they're not allowed to express themselves freely, you see that somebody else is holding onto their documents, you know, use your sixth instinct. Airport officials say they'll be on high alert the week leading up to the Super Bowl. They are also expecting about 50,000 more passengers than usual the day after the game. In Miami, Alina Shirazi, Fox News.